Eva is with us. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Is Eva awake? Hi, Eva. <laughs> She's trying to be awake. Okay. Okay. What do we have? What do we have today? <clears throat> the Gospel of Saint Matthew. We're still reading Saint Matthew chapter thirteen, verses one to nine. So you will recall how uh, the previous days we've been talking about the will of God and how God has been saying, how Jesus has been saying, well, you got to listen to the will of God, right? And he has been comparing, <clears throat> um, you know, different scenarios, different situations of how we uh, receive the will of God and how we act on it. So yesterday he was saying, well, who are my mother and my brother? Well, those who do the will of God, listen to the will of God and do them. So today our Lord um, says kind of like the same thing, but using now a different image. He uses the imagery of soil and seed and sower. Okay, So <clears throat> he says, on that day Jesus went out. Of the house and sat down by the sea such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down and the whole crowd stood along the shore so you can imagine a situation where our Lord gets into a boat you know pulls out a little bit into the sea and then the crowd will be there by the beach and he was preaching from the boat okay and he says, he told him a story. He says, a parable. He says, a sower went out to sow. A sower. What is a sower? Somebody who? A farmer. Yeah, a farmer. Somebody who casts seeds, you know, who throws seeds into, into the ground. And that's the method of planting that they, they would do, right? You would see, you would see a lot of this in, uh, in places in Asia, for example, where they plant uh, rice, where they plant... You see rows and rows and rows of furrow and and plantations where you know uh, they throw seed into the ground and okay of course rice is not planted like that but anyway similar <laughs> and he says and as he sowed as he was throwing away like that the casting the seed some seed fell on the path and birds came up came and ate it up so they fell on the on the road on the pathway where he was walking and so some seed fell there and well since there was there was no not much earth to to uh, swallow it up well the birds came and they ate it up and some fell on rocky ground rocky ground so hard soil then they sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched. And it withered for lack of roots. Then some fell on thorns. The thorns grew up, choked it, and some seed fell on rich soil. And because it was rich soil, it produced fruit. And some produced a hundred or sixty or thirty fold <clears throat> then our Lord concludes and says whoever has ears ought to hear okay so Jesus here speaks about us the soil would be us the soil we are being compared to uh, we are being com our soul is compared to soil here that receives the word of God that receives the graces that God sows all the time to feed us okay to to nourish our soul <clears throat> now the rocky soil the thorny soil the pathway the the fruitful soil talks about our disposition how we actually receive God, how we actually take advantage of what God is giving us, the seed that God wants to plant in our soul. Okay? 
So there are some people who are like the pathway where they are really, really uh, not disposed for anything. Okay? Nothing will grow there. It's like seed falling on the cement ground. Well, it will never penetrate that ground. Right? So these are, these are the kinds of people who are completely uh, impenetrable, so to speak, dense, and they, they don't care at all for, for the Word of God. Okay? Those are the ones that just fall on the pathway. And then there are souls that are compared to um, uh, um, what do you call that kind of, well, what's the next thing? Rocky ground, right? Well, it's rocky means there's a little soil in there, but it's just a little bit better than the other one, right? But since it is not completely uh, prepared to receive the Word of God, then that kind of rocky ground is like, like, uh, like rock. That kind of a soul is also <clears throat> very dense, impenetrable, rebellious, you know? Uh, that kind of uh, that kind of an attitude where it's often uh, rejecting the will of God. It will receive it a little bit. It will listen a little bit, but then it will rebel. Okay? It will rebel against the will of God. That's the rocky soil. Okay? And then you have the thorny soil. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why am I? <clears throat> the thorny soil. What? What is the thorny kind of soil? What's the what's the kind of soil that has plenty of thorns and thistles? That's the kind of soil that, well, uh, well, will allow will allow the seed to grow a little bit. It will it will absorb it a little bit, but since that soul is selfish, it's so full of itself. Okay, it will throw out. It will eventually um, throw out whatever it is that God wants to plant in that soil. So the thorny ground is. Is the frivolous kind of ground. It's the frivolous person, the person who's proud, who is full of himself, who's egoistic, who's selfish. See? And, you know, is only goody goody. <laughs> There's no real sincerity in absorbing the will of God and taking good advantage of it. And then eventually it chokes it up. Okay? It, 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 uh, it kills it because. That soil is more full of itself than its willingness to accommodate the will of God. But then there is the rich soil. And this is what we have to strive to be. The rich soil is well disposed. Okay? You know, we have also been planting here plenty of plants in our, in our own backyard. How do we prepare the ground so that it can be good ground to accept the plants that we plant into it? What do we do? Huh? <laughs> Joe, Joe fertilizes them, right? <laughs> Joe fertilizes them. But before applying fertilizer into the, into the pots and into the ground, we first have to... What do we do? Huh? We have to cultivate it first, right? We aerate it, cultivate it, loosen the ground, right? And then we put fertilizer and then we water it, right? It's like Mia is in charge of watering uh, the plants in the pots. And we, we have recently put an irrigation system all around the property so that, you know, we don't have to think about the watering. It happens automatically. See, we have to be like that good soil. And you see how rich our plants are, right? Our trees are bearing fruit. We have plenty of grapefruit. We have plenty of oranges coming up. We have pomegranate coming up. We have... Uh, plums, which we just enjoyed in this season. We have, uh, what else are coming up there? Nectarines, and we have, um, what do you call the other one? Huh? Um, persimmons, and then the apples are coming up. You see, so all our plants and trees are bearing fruit. Why? Because we've taken good care of these things. Right? We have cultivated the soil, we irrigate it, we fertilize it. We, we take good care of it. And that's why they bear fruit. Okay? And the better we take care of it, the more fruit they, they uh, develop. The more fruit they give us. 
So we, Jesus is telling us we have to be like that good soil. The good soil which is cultivated by virtue. Okay? Good soil that is cultivated by virtue. Continuously, continuously uh, uh, um, cultivated, aerated, you know, and that happens that happens by virtue. There's constancy in the way that we live the virtues in our lives. That is the way we prepare uh, that soil. We cultivate it by virtue. We feed it and enrich it. How? By the word of God, which we, like we do here all the time, every morning, by studying the catechism, eh? by praying, eh? the habit of prayer, Okay. By offering mortifications. So these are the kinds of fertilizers that feed and enrich the soil. And, and more than that, to irrigate it. To <coughs> irrigate it with the waters of the sacraments. Beginning from the waters of baptism to the waters of grace that come from the other sacraments that we receive daily, weekly, okay? and every time we uh, do good acts. Okay? So, life of virtue is the way we cultivate that soul. Life of prayer and mortification is the way we feed it and nourish it. And then, the sacraments which continuously irrigate our soul with grace. Okay? So, there's a nice image that our Lord uh, presents to us today. The sower and the ground, the different kinds of ground that receive the seed. So let us strive to be the good seed, I mean, sorry, the good soil that receive the seed that bears fruit. Okay? So we will think about these things and pray about them today as we head off to Mass. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye. See you again tomorrow. How's my co-host doing? Hey, she's busy with her toys. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.